We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Welcome back to the 365 Driven Podcast. We're doing a special live 91.1, The Boss, here in Houston. And our next entrepreneur taking the hot seat is Pete Garcia. Pete has an amazing career. He's also the executive director of the U.S.-Mexico Chamber of Commerce based here in the Houston area. But he loves to help companies succeed in international markets. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, Antonio, thank you very much for having me first. Well, you know, through the years, uh, I have learned and I've worked for several international companies, and I've seen failure. Most of us learn from failure. Absolutely. I'm talking millions of dollars of failure. So I started working and developing some strategies to help companies avoid those losses going into new markets, international markets. A lot of people are just afraid of the word international, another country. Oh, I need to translate it. It's not about the translation. So many things get lost in translation. They've got to have a plan. They've got to understand where they're going. They've got to do the research, invest, mm -hmm. invest in their personnel that they're going to have managing their businesses there, understand about the marketplace there, if they're going to provide a service or a mm -hmm. product. What does the market do? How do they buy? What are their purchasing habits? Because they're a lot different than they are here in America. Well, the thing is, is there's so many business owners out there. And let's face it, the Internet has made the world a much smaller place. And they just think that they can take the same rules and the same product and go set up shop in another border. And all this business is going to start coming in. What is the problem with that? Well, part of the problem is, one, a lot of countries don't have very fast speed Internet. <laughs> not all companies, and depending on the size of company that you're going to look for, not all of them have access to the Internet. So you can't just rely on that. But some of the other things that have changed the marketplace is now you have more airplanes flying to more distant places on the world. Mm. That did not happen years ago. So as the access of people it grows, as well as the access of the Internet grows, well, that's where you can learn to take advantage of if you know how to go and where to go. There's also some other key issues go to places where the United States has a free trade agreement. Mm. They're per, they're Intellectual property can be protected uh, if there are already laws in place. Uh, so I recommend go to those places first. It's going to cost you less to import your product or export your pro uh, export your product to the U.S. Man, that one tip alone is going to save somebody some headaches and a lot of time and money there. But there's a lot of distinction with the cultural difference. Maybe you can give some examples of where cultural breakdowns occur. Well, business is done differently in other parts of the world. You know, I, I tell people going to Mexico, they say, well, I've got a lunch planned already. And I tell them, make sure you have a good breakfast first. And they say, well, I'm going for a lunch meeting. What is breakfast? After? I said, well, lunch is going to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. If you haven't e eaten a good breakfast, your, your, your knees are going to be a little wobbly. Not only that, you're probably going to start off with a tequila and a little sangrita on the side. I said, don't shoot the tequila. They said, you're going to sip on it. Imagine you walk into a deal, it's 3 o'clock, you haven't had a good breakfast, and you start drinking tequila and you shoot it. What kind of deal are you going to cut? Exactly. So it's been a great interview, and if people want to work with you, Pete, what's the best way for them to reach you? PeteGarciaInternational.com. Awesome. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Antonio.